Hi, welcome to my channel, Crafty Come Lately. I had to go to Daiso to replace my tripod, and I got a couple of other things as well, because they're there and irresistible. So this is what the tripod looks like. All I have, um, I don't have a video camera, I just have a regular digital camera. Uh, pretty old one too, but it has a video function and it works just fine to upload these videos. So um, I, when I discovered, I used to prop it on books and um, other things and try to tilt it, but it really didn't do it justice. So when I saw th this at Daiso, it worked really perfectly. So I actually got two, one that I'm actually using to replace the one that broke. And um, this one is my backup, just in case they don't carry in the future, who knows. And uh, an oldie but a goodie is um, bags. I have um, the different size bags, but this is the perfect size to put little cards into and maybe even little stickers into. Um, they are 18 by 12 centimeters, which is 7 plus a little bit by 4.72 inches. So this is how I like when I give friends cards that they can use later. This is how I give it to them. So that's that. And finally, I was able to obtain one of these beautiful trays that many people have shown. There was only one, so of course I snatched it. It has a little gold glitter around the leaves. It's really pretty. And um, I have gotten um, different notebooks before from Daiso. Um, I've gotten this one before, actually, and I made a project and covered it all up. But I actually do like just the pink flowers as is, so I might even maintain it as is. I've also bought them in the past in just striped black and white, and there's a red and blue, which makes cute French style theme travel book or photo album. Um, this one will be a planner that I'm working on. I'm trying to just find free down, uh, downable printables, downloadables printables, however you say it. Um, so I found a few things. I need to find a couple more things to print. So um, I will show you the finished product really soon, but this is January. I haven't filled anything out yet, February. I thought it would take forever to figure out something, but I think I might be done before July. No, um, I think I'll be done before the end of February. So that's what I'm working on. I'll do a separate video when I have it more complete. Um, I found these little mini tiny clips and um, they are, let's see here, uh, 0.51 inch so half an inch yeah and or 13 millimeters there's 42 of them they had something similar that was maybe 40 of them for slightly bigger slightly smaller whatever it was but this is the most small that's what I wanted because I already have the medium size from the dollar store I got another um, craft uh, punch and it's the number five and I'm really digging the ones that look like the Marvy ones where it's just a lever punch down it's kind of similar to this punch that I have from Marvy because the other ones that you have to really push down are really, really hard. I don't have arthritis or any issues like that, but it's, it's like I pretty much have to stand up and use my force to um, punch the other ones. So if you go to get punches at the dollar store, get the ones with the lever push down, you'll save yourself a headache. And then since I'm trying to do some journals, like little, and I kind of resisted the sewing as long as possible, um, I just I started to sew a couple of them and I'm using some twine no not twine what do you call it cotton thread this is cotton thread that I got a Daiso and the thickest needle that I did find is actually pretty good but um, I got a bigger one three big ones they're probably for something else yeah for knitting or I don't know what else they do with it but I got three of them so I can thread it more easily and use thicker like I might even be able to use my um, hemp twine through it so um, I'll just show you real quick but I'll do a separate video on this as well I've actually made a little mini uh, journal junk journal it's one signature only and I've actually sewn it so hooray um, there's the sewing right there so I'll do a separate video on that so there's this one and I did one with simple thread black thread somewhere I don't see it right here so I'll do a separate video though and I'll show you that I got a little bit more lace trim. I have something similar, but this is even more dainty uh, little pattern here. So I was excited about that. Um, I got uh, more thread. This one is simple with no glitter in it. And the purpose for this one is to put on the back of a spine when I'm making a book and then you cover it up and it looks really authentic, like a cool aged uh, vintage book. So that's the purpose of that. I don't knit or anything else. Um, and this one is um, for 
I wasn't exactly sure, but I'm thinking it's a sponge double-sided tape, but I'm thinking it might be good for making the shaker cards. If not, I'll figure out some other purpose for it. And then this is for waxing um, thread for book binding. So now that I just have to find the thread that goes with the wax. But yeah, so um, Sea Lemon uses that thread wax and that's what she recommends to use before binding books. So I think that is all that I've got so far. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for videos that will show some of these um, in more detail. So thank you so much.